face. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Earth's darkest day. I feel good, considering I've never been this scared in my entire life. Will be man's finest hour. <laughs> I am less than two minutes away from realizing a childhood dream. I have always wanted to go into space. Once I applied to be the journalist in space back in 1985, then uh, the Challenger disaster, January 1986, it canceled that program. But here we are, a minute and 40 seconds away. You know, I launched rockets when I was a high school student, ever since Flash Gordon and Buck Rogers. I've always uh, dreamed of this. Never have I seen a shuttle launch. This is the 135th launch. And can you imagine the final launch is also my first? So uh, not only is it a matter of crossing it off the bucket list, it's also the realization of a dream come true. Astronaut Andy Allen and his family. So a bittersweet moment? A very bittersweet moment. It's been a privilege and an honor to be able to be part of the program. And it's uh, very sad to let all these great people go. And what do you think will happen? Where will they go? It's a good question. I mean, the people themselves have got to go take care of themselves and their families. But as a culture, I don't think that I've ever seen anywhere at any place that you have 100% total passion and commitment to a program than you have with this workforce. Mike Serafin, the flight director. Do you fear, Mike, that with all of the budget constraints and all of the consciousness about the deficit and all the arguing about uh, you know, what we spend our tax dollars on, that we'll never have another major program going into space. Now, I've spent 18 years of my life supporting the uh, space shuttle program, as well as the International Space Station. Um, part of me believes that the space shuttle is going to continue to live on in the form of the International Space Station, the Hubble Space Telescope, and other programs that it's worked on so hard over the years. So uh, from the physicist's point of view, a bittersweet moment? Absolutely. It's the end of an era, and what an amazing ride it's been. And without those astronauts on there, we just never would have been able to do the kind of science that we've been able to do. With 30 seconds away, 30 seconds away, oh my God, it's so exciting. Oh my God, they have ignition. All three engines up and burning. Two, Two one, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. Oh, look at that, a man-made sun soaring into the Florida sky. I never thought I'd see her so happy. There she goes. Go, Atlantis. Go, Atlantis. Go, go, go. Soaring, soaring. The sound reaching us now from three miles away. There she goes. Peeling into the atmosphere. Go, baby, go. The final shuttle flight. Oh, my God. Look at it go. Come on, baby. Come on. Into the clouds. Go, Atlantis. Go! There she goes. Look at the smoke trail. Oh, God. I'm so happy I was here. So happy I was here to see that. Disappearing into the clouds. The clouds that threatened the launch from the get go. It was pouring rain here yesterday. We saw the uh, shuttle up close and personally the night before her, uh, her swan song. But now to see it, see her fly, see Atlantis fly. There she goes, the end of an era, 30 years of the space shuttle taking astronauts from 16 different countries, over three and a half million pounds of cargo, spaceward. Now we want to go from low Earth orbit to beyond. Let's go to Mars. Let's go uh, where no man has ever gone before. Let's go boldly.